Hey, how is everybody? Well, it's almost the end of the day on Tuesday and I wanted to announce the winner of the giveaway and then maybe talk about a few things so it's not just about a giveaway. Uh, the winner, after almost 400 comments, that was probably the most comments I've ever gotten on a video, is Tom Pritchard. So Tom, if you can send me an email or, or a Facebook message or an Instagram message or message me through uh, YouTube, somehow get me your address and I will send this right out to you. Uh, I couldn't believe how many comments there were. So many people have the same frustration with a, a bad air hose as, as I have. And um, like I said, Flexzilla isn't a sponsor. They did send me two hoses, but I wouldn't consider that a sponsor. Uh, but it is a great hose and I hope they do become a sponsor one day because I like to work with good companies and products I believe in. So you never know. Uh, what I wanted to talk about was the importance of a full-size drawing. This week I'm building a lamppost. This is, it looks a little short, but it's going to sit on a, a uh, piece of stone, brickwork and then stone. So the design issue that I had with this project was there's a receptacle on the lamppost and originally it was somewhere in the middle and I didn't want to do that because of the the moldings and the flat panel. So I made the drawing so I could see what the bottom of the post looked like if I added a few inches and then I can add the the uh, receptacle or the outlet right at the bottom here. And I thought it looked good. My wife, <laughs> she came out and took a look at it and, uh, and she likes it so it's a go. So just by making the drawing it sort of clears a lot of things up. And then when you have the drawing you can pull your measurements for your cut list from the drawing. So it's just a really uh, handy way and kind of takes some of the guesswork out of uh, doing a project. So this is the uh, lamppost that I'm working on right now. It's just together with biscuits. It's not glued. I like to use biscuits when I'm building a box like this just for alignment. So I will eventually add glue and screw the box together and, and uh, install it. But that's going to take a few days and hopefully I'll have that done by Sunday and I'll see you then. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you then.